Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are here to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours, this card tried to turn out. And it's unsure, unsure about the nine of pentacles energy. So... The Nine of Pentacles energy just lets you know that it's luxury. It could be anything from, you know, you gaining financial independence or because it's unsure, you understanding what your self-worth is, you know. Um, it's like um, you have to invest in yourself, but you have to make sure that you're doing what it takes. Yeah, in order for you to know that there was struggle at one point when it came to the Five of Pentacles and the Tower being here. The Five of Pentacles is just letting you know, again, there was some type of struggle, a lack of mindset or isolation when it came to ending things that no longer served you. The Tower Energy, Tower Energy is basically you having an expected, uh, unexpected ending and which caused, you know, this is a good thing, which caused, so it caused you to really kind of dig deep and work on your Pentacles. And also to have harmony, to have luxury, to have peace and opportunities and also completion. So that's what the universe told you to do. But this is in order for you to be able to manifest the magician at the bottom of the deck. To be able to manifest the things that you want. You had to have some type of struggle um, and endings, unexpected endings, in order for you to have harmony and opportunities. Peace, harmony, happiness, and opportunities moving forward. You know, because the four of wands energy... You know, just let you know that there's a celebration. It could be matters of the home, but the Ace of Cups energy also lets you know that it's, you know, it's like love, it's new relationship, it's compassion, it's creativity, and the world energy is completion. You know, the world energy is letting me know that you moved on and you were able to manifest things when it was rocky at first. So you, if it looks like to me, you didn't believe in the beginning that, you know, you had, you could do this, but that clarify the uh excuse me the nine of pentacles comes out with the prince of cups which is the page of cups type energy which is you having to know excuse me you having to know which is you knowing about your creativity and being a dreamer but also at the same time going after knowing that this is the only way you're going to be happy is if you go after your dreams the five of pentacles energy is here and so with the five of pentacles being here and you having to go after your dreams comes with yeah, heartbreak, three of swords energy, comes with taking the leap, the full energy, and the queen of swords. So the queen of swords says be tough, be ambitious. Excuse me. It says stand up for yourself, always speak your mind, don't take shit from anybody. So this tower energy came from heartbreak and also you taking a leap and you having to do what's best for you. Tower energy here, we're going to clarify, comes out with, yeah, the emperor so, you know, the emperor energy is you respecting yourself. So the tower energy came out because you had to respect yourself. The four of wands comes out because you had to have peace, happiness, and harmonious energy when it came to a home because at some point the ten of swords being here, there was a lot of burdens. Excuse me. Uh, sorry. The ten of swords be coming, being here was a lot of like uh, not burdens but feeling like you were backstabbed, like you had to end certain situations, you know, and sometimes it's hard when it, it, you know, it's a painful ending or unexpected ending. This doesn't mean death. It just means death is a rebirth, you know, and so sometimes this happens where you have to stand up for yourself and understand with the emperor energy that things need to change because you need to respect yourself. The ace of cups energy comes because, yeah, the judgment. You had a realization that in order for you to have some type of completion, you had to be able to look at things in a different light and a different perspective and move forward. And sometimes that's facing yourself and facing your truth. Uh, when it comes to the world energy, the world comes with the Six of Pentacles. Facing your truth that you've been given to others, Six of Pentacles, six years, you've been given to situations. And now it's time for you, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, to make head over heart, excuse me, head over heart decisions when it comes to you having to have mental clarity and also be the authoritarian and follow with truth and also have the power because you you had to manifest the things that you want but at some point it was because 
the struggle and the unexpected endings came from heartbreak and you being a fool respectfully and now that fool caused you to be in that fool caused you to take that leap and it's not really being a fool it's kind of being naive to certain situations and just kind of going with the flow and not believing in yourself and you know they say to doubt is not to believe and at some point you were doubting you know movement or doubting why you should move forward and then now once you once you started to get to that point to where the universe says okay well the struggle has been here i'm gonna end these things unexpectedly which causes you to turn around and have to respect yourself to put the respect out there to have harmonious energy and to be happy and have a happy life happy wife or home you know the ten of swords has to come and the ten of swords again is like a painful ending um when it comes to heartbreak and so i'm pulling from the um yeah loyalty yeah so yeah now you're questioning people People at first didn't have to question your loyalty. Now they're questioning it. And yeah, the unforeseen forces, the completion again, same with the uh, world energy being here, completion and walking away because the unforeseen forces is the same as the tower energy and also the uh, ten of swords. Yeah, because you were dealing with the Don Juan type energy. Now Don Juan could be anything, but it could be a, a ladies man or it could be somebody that likes to be adventurous. See, you see the three people that, are blindfolded and he's not speaking so this is like hear no evil speak no evil but they're okay with going with the flow and at some point you were too and so that's where the unforeseen forces said that if you can't believe in yourself and understand your creativity with your creativity you can have your cake and eat it too but you have to be able to respect yourself first and this energy of the struggle comes because of the heartbreak of this Don Juan type energy and also taking not being able to take the leap for yourself or stand up for yourself. And that's where I always say to you guys, when the Queen of Swords shows her face, that's because we are being naive and we are not we're not really standing up for ourselves or speaking our mind, or we're letting just going with the flow. And that flow can be us being in the Queen of Pentacles energy, which is um, you know, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody like JDS Terrell says can be toxic to herself, which means him or herself, which means that, you know, they will do anything for their family or somebody who they consider family. So the easiest thing for you to do is to let the universe guide you to walk in a way because your loyalty will go for years. And that's the reason why the pinnacles are here. Nine of pinnacles, you're almost close to the ninth year, but five years of going through this pain and agony or heartbreak and dealing with this energy is because you were too afraid to move forward and be creative on your own. So don't make assumptions moving forward. You know, here it is, uh, Snoop Dogg, and another dog, I'm just playing. Relinquish the need to change others. So no, you're not going to be able to change this person, but the unforeseen forces had gave you no choice but to end this, to walk away and to respect yourself and to understand that you can't make the assumptions that somebody is going to ever see your loyalty and that's why it starts with you first. And so it says, real love is accepting others, uh, other people the way that they are without trying to change them. If we try to change them, this means that we don't really like them. It is easier to find someone who is already the way you want him or her to be instead of trying to change that person. And so that is what you had to realize. There's no change in this Don Juan type energy. The only thing you can do is be the change that you want to see. And also, that means that the universe will send somebody or its equivalent to you. But you have to follow your heart and go after the things that you want. If you want to know my perspective of the four agreements, I'll post it up here. And this is also the uh, chakras. If you want to know that, that's also going to be uh, put up here too as well. Two cards comes out. The cards that are here are the steel bites and the rhodonite. And it's the crown and the heart chakra and the heart and the root chakra. Yeah, this is you gaining foot, your, your footing. Higher consciousness, spiritual vibrations, and universal love is the steel bites. And um, it's the heart and the crown chakra. I easily travel to realms of higher energetic vibrations. You're not going to let anything keep you down, but the higher vibrations that you're in, it's easier for you to not really look at the past, learn from the past, live in the present moment, and know that the future is going to be okay, but not worry about the future because it causes anxiety. The rhodonite is the heart and the root chakra, cosmic connections, high vibrations, and acceleration. 
I use my gifts to fulfill my soul's purpose. I use my gifts to fulfill my soul's purpose. And that is what you're doing. You're understanding your creativity and you're moving forward in order to have a happy home and a happy, harmonious life. And so let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.